Hi folks, welcome to a new game that I've started playing. Um, if you remember my old multi series, that was surprisingly popular. Um, I've been looking at the views on that and it's been surprisingly high. So, I looked online uh, on Steam and just typed in mall to see what I could find. And up came this game, which is called Another Brick in the Mall. Now this is obviously different from Mall Tycoon. It's, it is somewhat a tycoon based game. So we're going to start a new game. Uh, I don't need the tutorial. Tutorial, I know what it is. I don't like doing limited funds or anything like that. Normal build it. I'll put that on first. That doesn't really matter, that one. So basically, you can see, this is our mall. This is the little where the wee workers will go. Um, so first things first, we want to build a load network. We want to build a loading zone and stuff. So we'll bring this road out over here then we'll bring road down here then we'll see where that goes uh, we need parking for customers so that can go there we need loading zone which will probably go over there somewhere once it's been built uh, we'll speed up time. So we'll put some loading zones here. We only need maybe two for now. Then we need some staff parking. And we need some like a garbage pickup area. Which can go here. So that's the basics of it. Uh, we'll get some customer parking more over here, and so we'll bring that there. So the road's going to go here. Then the cu customer parking is going to go along here. Uh, we need staff parking for here. And then once that's built, I don't want to build too much of this stuff just yet because obviously we need to get the shops in. So first thing, we're just going to make like a general store that sells stuff um, just to get it off the move, off the, the mark so to speak. So it's not going to be massively big, see. See about that'll do. We'll let them build that. Then we'll build a wall here. Storage doesn't need to be massive, so see about here maybe. Then we need doors, so we need double door, and then we need a staff door here, and put a couple in there. Right, so we've got the base of the mall set, so we go to assign, storage, this is the storage for this store. Now if you click on the actual name, you can name it. So this will be General Storage. 
and that will be fine. Now we need a actual store, so it will be here, and then this will be called uh, Assign General Store. So I've got our general store set up, now we need to assign it storage, so we click on the assign storage and then click on there. Now that the actual store is set up, now we need to set, so how far back can we go, 6 till, okay, so we've got 6 till, we say 6 till 8 maybe, maybe 10. That will do it for now. Later on we can get open all hours. So from there to there and then you can hire different staff for different times and during the day it tends to get busy and stuff. So let's hire some more workers. Access to have more job have. Okay, so we need more road surfaces which is fine. Let's just hire anyone here. So I want you to start from there six and you are a cashier. We'll bring in another cashier and you can do the same. So six to eight six hours eight hours was that four? Then if we do Four till five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and then we got another set coming in at, at ten. So I think the store is open till ten, isn't it? Yeah, uh, yeah. So we need say another two more, and they'll start from four. And they'll do six hours. And another one. You're doing the same. So you start at four. And you're doing. Wait, that's eight hours. Six hours. Seven, eight. Later on we can adjust all that. Alright, uh, so that's that set. What we need now are clerks for the storage. You're going to do 6 to uh, 4 no, that needs to be eight. All right, the top ones need to be eight. That's what it is. Right. So then we need another one for four. You're doing a six-hour shift. So we've got the store set up now. Uh, research complete. The research is here, uh, so you can see we've got research basic, which it doesn't give you anything, but it sets you up for the next set. Then you can see you can do cold, cold stuff, which includes like frozen food and milk, dairy stuff like that. So that'll be later on, a couple of days time, I think. Um, so yeah. Now that we've got the staff set up, we've got the uh, so we now need to actually build the shop itself. So I don't know how many things can we get from the start. Two, three, four. Like that. 
Oh, you need to learn it both of us, of course. <laughs> I'm forgetting. So they'll build the shells. Now we can assign them with uh, cookware. So say that. So the back can be a household items. Three and four. So that's them set. Now we need to set up another set of shells. Four, five, six should do. Let them mold them. Then this set can be divers and that and now we go through car tools and toys so we've got one shell spare which is fine so what we need now are uh, fridges Usually the fridges are might be in the back, but we'll put them there for now. We need some tables, three, uh, and some food shelves. Two, three, four, five, six. So we'll let them get built. So can we put, yes we can, we can put them, them, and so that's that sorted. Um, so put fresh bread on that one. We need. We've got all that, so we need a whole bunch of foodstuffs, canned food, breakfasts. Snacks, uh, sliced bread. So we need one, two, three, four more tables. Well, no tables. Uh, food shelves. One, two, three, and four. So we'll let them get built. Eventually. Come on guys. Right, so now we can set these. Come on. One, two, three, and pet food right at the front. Right, so now that we've got the food and the other items set, now we need two cashier counters, checkout counters. So we need one there, one there. So I, I think it's the next day everything will start arriving and stuff. And then we'll hopefully start to make some money. Well, there you go, there's the storage arriving. Then they'll start stocking the shelves, and possibly tomorrow people will start arriving. Well, there's people arriving there now, but we've not got any cashiers. <laughs> oh, we've got cashiers. Oh, the, the later ones, that's what it is. So you can see it was starting to go off already, which is fine. Could probably do with some more cashiers though. But yeah, that's our first 
general store up and running. Um, what's wrong with you? Check out Sirfil. So we could possibly do it with another two checkouts maybe. One there, one there, and that means we just need to hire a um, couple more people. Yeah, and yeah. So you're going to do an eight hour. You're going to do the same. Then the next two, I'm going to start from four, and then you're going to leave, you're only doing a six hour shift, as are you. As I say later on, when it comes to an open door hour shop, um, we'll obviously re reassign everyone, getting them all different times and stuff so we'll put that back off so we've doubled them up which is fine that's just the checkouts so what we're going to do is we are going to build some roads parking, customer parking So they've got more spots because we will become a time where we'll need a whole lot of parking garage uh, areas for all these people. Speed time up more. So there's the shop opening, people are arriving. So hopefully those new cashiers should reduce the waiting time. I'm sure they will. So the stock counters still building up, which is awesome. I may actually do. Where's my research? Where are the appliances? The appliances make uh well the appliances and the electricon supply are the, the best ones I would say for now so we'll do that one instead. Obviously once that one's done it'll jump back to the one it was doing originally. But if we can get some appliances or electrical stuff at least, then we can get a bit more money in. I might actually research open all about ours after this one. We'll see what we can get. But as you can see, we are actually making some nice profit. Not massive, but it's not bad for one little shop. So they are making better, they're not crowding round as much, which is good, and they're able to be finished, and they can go home. That stock checker still sits, well hold on, uh, that stock checker still staff, where's the stock clerk? 
Hmm, they're only safe for six hours, I don't know why they were still sitting there. Because they should have gone. Oh well. They're away now. So, yeah. I'm just going to keep going. So we'll give it a few days and hopefully we'll make some money. But until then, that's going to be it for this episode, folks. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this first instalment of Another Brick in the Mall. Uh, it's a fun little similar base to Mall Tycoon, obviously. Uh, as, as I say, that was a pretty popular series on my channel, so I thought, you know, Try another one and we'll see how it goes. And I just realised I've not got any cleaning staff. Uh, so until next time, folks, do take care and I shall see you all later on. Take care. Goodbye for now.